many people think of the name Mata Hari as one of the glamorous female spies in history. The real truth, however, is far different. Mata Hari married a Dutch East Indies officer at a very young age, lived there, was very unhappy, a bad marriage to a much older man. She returned to Europe penniless and needed to make a living. So she had the idea to make a living as a dancer. And in the Victorian era, uh, it was a very modest area, nudity, public nudity, even in performances was unheard of. But to make it acceptable, she said, I'm not dancing to display myself. I'm simply performing a temple ritual from the East Indies. So that would make it acceptable because in effect you're seeing part of a religious experience. And she gained some notoriety throughout Europe for her dancing, but especially for her very provocative outfits. This bra surfaced in Paris, very fragile, very old. It's consistent with images of her that show her dancing in the similar outfits. It's certainly not something that would be worn for comfort. It would not be worn for evening attire. Its only purpose would be essentially to have an excuse to use nudity to attract people that want to come to an evening performance. People flocked to her. She was successful. She traveled the world. She had agents. But she was a very, very poor businesswoman and she spent her money essentially to maintain her lifestyle. As she reached her mid-30s, Matahari traveled to Spain with a very simplistic plan. She would seduce a military attaché in the German embassy, and then after their assignation over pillow talk, she'd get some secrets. Matahari finishing her, her reason for being there, travel back to France. Soon after she returned, she's arrested as a spy because they believed she was Agent H-21. Ultimately, she was executed in a firing squad in October of 1917. Uh, a very pitiful spy. Her entire espionage career lasted one fateful afternoon. But it's interesting how history glamorizes the fictional spies, but for good reasons of secrecy, we often overlook the work that's done by real women spies.